welcome back. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, where my brain went <clears throat> during our last episode, by the way, we're over a thousand silver. We're closing in on level 16. I mean, I don't know how it's going to go. It may be a disaster. I may come limping back to Mosquito, but we're not far. From testing out trolling at Cory. I didn't think we were going to make it to Cory on this run. But we just keep going and going. We may make it to Cory, you know? What are we clipped at? Seven, six, seven, something like that? Alright, we're going to try peas over here. This is where my brain went, okay? If these baits were working so well over there... Wherever it was. Up there. Then, why don't we come back to the spot that a week ago we realized was a developing hot spot, right? And try these baits here. Now, I did make a run to Winding Rivulet and we picked up some Vanilla 12. I really like the Vanilla 12. It's still a small size, but it's a little bigger <laughs> than the 8s or 10s or whatever. And because that uh, one suggestion came in with a wild honey dip, I was like, ah, vanilla, wild honey, I think that goes together. All right, what are we clipping here? Seven. So, I want to try this out for a little while. There's also a couple of rough orders. If this spot doesn't perform or if it slows down too much, we could always do the rough order. All right, this we want to have... We'll start with Crucian Gibble. We need to remake all of our ground bait types. We're doing really good though with using different types of ground bait, trying out different things, different baits. Let's have a good session here. Catch some big fish. We had a... Um, are we still in the uh, U.S. weeklies for gibbles? We had a fat gibble earlier. Old Nightcrawler. Yes! Overall U.S. weekly. See, even at low levels, you can get on the weeklies. Okay. Let's see if we can catch another one. Now, if you're trying to be as efficient as possible and make as much silver as possible, don't screw around with the boilies in this spot. I don't think it's worth it. What you want is the uh, night crawlers. <laughs> and I'll kind of show you, like, we're going to start with peas. But as it gets to be later in the evening, we'll probably switch this one to night crawlers. And then we might even put bread on overnight or something semolina or something just to increase the activity because boilies I mean who knows maybe we'll catch a trophy on them but mostly what I've seen with boilies so far are just like fat crucians and stuff like eight nine hundred kilos 800 no eight nine hundred grams less than a kilo is mostly what I've seen so for the expense you're paying for the boilies and the dip it's probably it's probably not worth fooling with but I really enjoy it I love fishing with boilies uh, just trying different stuff you know oh music to my ears which bait is getting a bite that is the question <clears throat> Thank you. 
for part of the night, we might go two night crawlers actually and keep the boilies on. I just think the later the night goes, I I don't understand. Do people just have like programs set up where they, as soon as you post a video, they post a comment that says, "Nice video." Can we be YouTube friends? Or let's build each other up. Or like, are, is that people actually working like manually going and typing all these or copying and pasting all these messages in the videos as soon as they show up on YouTube? Or do they have some kind of like software that just looks for videos to, I don't know. All right, so first fish is on peas. We'd expect this to be a roach, right? Not guaranteed. Sometimes crucians and stuff too will get on there, but this actually looks like something small. Oh, that's a little roach. And unless it's just like screwing up on its own, we've got a fish on boilies. All right. Let's see what boilies is producing here. Yeah, this is kind of what I expect. Eight, nine hundred. This is smaller, 391. But just little crucians. Uh, one more time. Vanilla 12. Wild honey 5. Let's take this. Oh, uh, no, that's the smallest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to use a hook. We got to use a carp hook. That's fine. Do I have a... Do I not have a six carp hook? I could have sworn. What are we using on this? That's a classic hook. What are we using on this? Nightcrawlers has got a bite. That's exciting. No, that's a classic. Okay. All right. Nightcrawlers caught something. It was a sleeper. That's a nice long sleeper. I like when sleepers are big enough to actually have that full length to them. And then, of course, when they get towards trophy size, they get real fat. Sleepers are just cool fish. When I first started playing this game, I was like, those are the ugliest, weirdest fish I've ever seen. But because they were, like, just hitting it last time I did the leveling series, we were getting trophy sleeper, sleeper after trophy sleeper. It was so fun. Supposedly, according to Carp, they have opened up trophies on Discord again. That is amazing. If that is the truth. Hold on, let me see. I never can remember. Are the newest messages at the top or the bottom on Discord? like the bottom so it looks like they are letting people put trophies on discord again did they announce it or did they just like turn it on again all right there's a roach on peas so as, as we talked about last episode we kind of want to what we've learned is that peas are good and then they stop roach channel uh Roach channel. Roach bite stops like right before midnight. Stream announcements. Okay, so if I go to the bottom, is it? Yeah, that's the newest. Okay. Discord rules. Official news. Uh, I don't know. Now that Discord is more civil. Interesting. So that makes it sound like not letting us post trophies in Discord was a punishment because people weren't being civil. Uh, okay. I guess I just didn't, didn't know that, didn't see all that or whatever.
bitte. Alright, still getting some good bites on peas. We still have not seen our trophy roach. Unfortunately, it's starting to look like our trophy roach might not come till a later date, but... Come on, little fella. There you go. Okay. So, this spot we know is producing trophy gibbles. We know it's a really good bite rate for just kind of all the fish. We're getting decent sized roach so far. All right, here's the first one on boilies. It's been a little bigger. That's yeah, 882 gibble. That's not bad. Is that a legitimate bite there? So, Elwoodieth on... Remember back in the day when Elwood was just a streamer? <laughs> I used to love watching Elwood and lots of other RF4 streams as well. Over the next days, we'll be opening some limited channels and Discord. The reason for this is Discord has become much more civil and easier for us to moderate. So that's coming from official, an RF4 moderator. Uh, because of this, we'll be adding popular channels back to Discord. As always, the forum should be your first stop, but we want this to be a place where you all can share and communicate as well. The first channel we are activating is Trophies. Well, there you go. So Boilies continuing to do kind of the same thing. Nightcrawlers catch another sleeper? Yeah. I like seeing those sleepers show up. But they don't catch them all night. That's the thing. Sleepers used to be all night long. We see those trophies come in overnight. Okay, that's interesting about... Um, another nice roach that is a nice one so we're getting to the point where it might make sense to switch from peas but we're gonna keep on a little longer here so far so good somebody posted a golden tinch whoa somebody posted a Blue tag common. Oh gosh, is that the spot that I've been fishing? Sixty four ninety four. I can't think of where that is at Amber. Oh, it's so fun that the trophy trophy page is back. 
The only thing about the trophy page, like, what I like is when people talk about spots, not just like, hey, I caught a random trophy, but, like, here's what the spot is like, you know? Because, yeah, you might catch a random trophy somewhere, but not everyone's going to catch trophy. Trophies are rare sometimes, and if it's kind of a Garbo spot, it's nice to know that going in. But it is very nice that we have that back. I mean, it was... It's kind of like we're going to have to adjust to the fact that that's back again. It was definitely an adjustment when they took it away. Roach are definitely here, huh? Even, uh, even on the night crawlers. So it's 21.43, we can, we can play the roach life a little longer. Just constant, peas are just constant nice, tro uh, nice roaches right now. So far no trophies, but. This is where it gets debatable. I think we'll put him in one more time. Because that was such a quick bite. But we're definitely getting to that point in the night where suddenly it'll start slowing down. And another nice crucian off the boilies. They keep coming in. slow but they keep coming in wow not slow that time that was immediate bites Look at that, nice eyed. 
What are you catching over there, life? Called another nice one. I think our friction break. Oh, 1.4. That is nice. Friction breaks a little low. a nice white bream. Holy cow. I wonder I wonder if Gray caught that at uh, Mosquito. All right. See how much it slowed down? Let's just switch it. All right. Oh, there's a fish on there. Well, we'll definitely switch it now. I'm not used to roach not like letting you know they're on there. Um, okay, this is where it gets tricky. Do we want to go two night crawlers for now? I think we definitely go night crawlers on this one with, I guess, Crucian Gibble. And then do we want to go like bread or semolina on this one? Let's just kind of feel the night out, see how it goes. If the night crawlers are doing okay, we'll keep them because I think that's where the trophies are at. But if they get really slow towards the end of the night, then we'll switch it. We also could go make some quick silver off of uh, rough if we really want to. So far, the spot, spot's been great, though. Look at the percentage of markers. The percentage is 100%. As long as we stop before it gets too late in the morning, we might be able to keep that up. Don't worry, we took the peas off, but we're still catching roach. Go off the boilies again. They've been really decent, haven't they? I feel like they've been a little stronger than the spicy cherry or whatever we had before I guess maybe I should try I don't know if I've done the spicy cherry in this spot actually maybe we should try that I don't know the boilies inherently get slower the later it gets so that might be like a false positive kind of thing but Not opposed to, to, to switching it over though for a little bit. think we have a ton of cherry ones left just five let's just get a little sample here though let's see if we catch something on the cherry as well
roach. No, bream. It's weird when you start catching bream this close to the shore. Kind of freaks me out. Kind of freaks me out a little bit. You know, we haven't seen a white, a uh, common carp. I hesitate to say, like, there's no chance, but we just haven't seen one. I'm going to do something a little crazy here. We're going to go with a 3.2 liter. All right, so now I've got to remember that this first line is now very weak. So we've got to be oh so careful with it. <clears throat> We've got a healthy, awesome group of folks hanging out in chat these days. Earlier when I logged in, I was getting numbers instead of names in chat, which that hadn't happened to me in a while. But it's like the server kind of worked it, worked it out, and then it was back to normal. how slow the bite has gotten. You know, and I don't know if it's just this time of night. Like this is, I, I feel like I've seen this before is that in this spot, at least you get past a certain time, things just really slow down. And maybe we should put bread or semolina or something in to try to speed it up a little bit. All right, there goes the boilies. At least we can see one fish off these particular boilies. A little crucian. These boilies may not, um, might not be that much different than the other ones we were using. I don't know. So there went our marker streak. This bream ruined it. We could delete it, pretend like it never happened. So it sounds like the bream have been going off again at um, at Berg. Kind of making me tempted to try it again sometime. I wonder if we should just switch to to uh, to rough. I don't know. I guess we'll stick with it. I kind of want to see this spot in the morning too. I think this spot's really good. I think I just need to put baits that make it a little more active. We got to be a little more aggressive on changing baits probably. You know, I've been wanting to try semolina here. Let's do semolina.
Similarly, this should be a faster bite. I feel like it'll still be decent chance for some magic to happen. Oh, we need to make more semolina too. So we need to make more semolina, more um, more semolina. Oh wait, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what we need to make more of. But first, we make more sweet dough, more sweet dough, then more semolina, then garlic dough, then a bunch of cheese cubes, and then cottage cheese. We'll have to fund that at Corey. And then we get into pea porridge, which is nice. And then we're not that far away from cutting up fish. It just kind of rolls along. I want to come back. If we make it that far, I want to come back one day and try egg dough here at Mosquito. At times, egg dough seems to do pretty good on common carpet. Mosquito, I think. All right, so we need to switch mm, 4.30 to 5. We need to switch back to peas. And I don't know. Do we keep semolina on or do we put nightcrawlers back in place of semolina for a little bit? Because I think nightcrawlers could still do really good in the morning like it did in the first part of the overnight. It doesn't make sense to not have night crawlers all on, in my opinion, on at least one, except for maybe in, like, you know, noon till six or 7 p.m. And then maybe it's a little bit of a waste just because the bites tend to get so much smaller. Might as well just have bread and stuff on during the middle of the day. Just fill up your net with a few markers here and there. something cool on that uh, that first line on the night crawlers with the small leader on there but have not yet the reason why I haven't leveled up bait harvesting more aggressively is because we have this plan to go to quarry and do some trolling so I've kind of put everything else on hold while we're saving for Corey. Um, it goes against what I usually would like naturally do. I just love feeder fishing, cart fishing and all that, but I think it's worth spending some time in this series, maybe trolling at Corey. We'll see. It might drive me crazy, honestly, like trying to do it time after time, but we can also play around with burbot spots, maybe some char spots on feeders once we get some enough silver to that was a nice nice crucian on semolina there once we get enough silver to upgrade our feeder gears feeder gear as well It's a fish on. Oh, it's tiny. Oh, it's probably a sleeper, huh? Or, or oh, a sleeper. Uh, yeah, let's. All right, I just gotta remember, this is small setup. So now what we should do is take boilies off and put, I 
night crawlers on this one, I guess. Oh, we're getting some wear on those leaders. Six. Let's go with six. So no more boilies. No more boilies for the rest of our time in this spot. And then what do we have here? Simolina. Uh, Simolina might work good all day here, actually. I mean, I don't know. It's just a little slow, right? But as the day picks up, hopefully Simolina will also pick up. All right, we got to remember here, peas. We've got to be careful in this first line. One of those one kilo roach is going to have take a little coaxing. Decent one. Yeah, they're still decent. On Semolina. Is this not another roach that's just sitting? Oh crap. Okay. Alright, let's see what size this is. Look how small that is. Yeah, they're getting smaller now. Getting a little smaller. The last three fish. But we've caught 32 fish overnight and they were a lot of them were pretty decent. We'll make a little silver. This is night crawlers. Roach. Oh. I'm a little nervous about that line. Hold on, I need to get that in my hands here. Okay, we're okay. We do have to make ground bait. We just dug up 15 worms and three red worms. That was a good dig. What are we at now? Ooh, 1,100 worms. 1,100 worms. So now it's just like roach coming in on the night crawlers. I'd love to know how much silver we've made on the night crawlers. Remember, we spent like 200 silver to buy, what was it, 300 of them? So we've used like 70 whatever, seven. It's a good year. Everything's getting smaller. A 
a good um, a good bream knighted old burg, we're going to be level 16. So we have enough silver where you could do that starter pro spinning pack thing. And then one more rod to go with our Adriatica. We need a little bit of line, a couple lures. I mean, we're kind of getting there. It's, uh, it's just sad when it starts to get small. I mean, the spot's still good because it's very active. And, like, if you just put bread and worms in there, a couple bread, one worms, I mean, during this time of the day, or especially, like, when it gets closer to noon, you'll catch a ton. Some of them will be markers, but it's just fun, like, evening, overnight, morning, when they're tend to be a lot of the fatties is when it's fun. I think this might be another uh, just kind of sitting on there roach. All right, let's let everything soak for a minute. Let's go see. I don't know if any new orders have cycled in since the last group. I mean, we did like four or five orders earlier, so we really might not. have too many but let's just check I know there's two rough orders still up oh one of them cycled off so there's one rough order it's an easy one 31 silver oh and it is the real easy one a nice bream order if anybody's got a decent bream spot uh, that's worth eight silver yeah that's probably worth it just barely all right, we should grab that rough order. Do I have time to try to grab it real quick? Yeah, I guess so. We'll see if we can get it. It'd have to be quick rough though. I mean, this time of day, I can't, definitely can't stay on until rough time, rough part of the night again. I mean, we'll see if they start coming in quick. If they don't, we'll have to switch. We'll just have to do it. <clears throat> Skip it this time. It's early enough that we could get lucky and get them. But there's no guarantee. That still has the small leader on there, so hopefully we don't catch a big bream.
the roach have come with us. One down. And they can pretty much be any size, I think. Over 20. Two down. All right, I don't think I'm going to make you watch me try to catch three more 20 gram rough. Um, next time we're going to have to really like look seriously at um, maybe doing old bird bream again. And then we're going to start making some purchases for Corey. Putting it together, see where we really stand. Um, yeah, we don't have anything else. All right, let's see how much we made. Uh, 59 silver, it was okay. 28 for the roach, 24 for the crucian, 2 for 1 gibble, nothing for the white bream, and then I'm going to hold on to the rough for now just to see if I finish this. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, we're definitely at a decision time here. We've got up to 1,129 silver, so we're getting there. Start making some quarry purchases and see how that goes, I guess. All right, thanks for hanging out.